What's up guys and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2. And today we're gonna be going in and checking out yet another Plants vs Zombies Heroes hat that we got from Rux. And this will be the fourth and final one out of this most recent Rux, which is of course for the Imp. And it will be the Infinity hat. Now Infinity was a character that I wasn't too fond of when I first got him. But the more I play him, the more I enjoy him. And it's a pretty simple hat because it's sort of a pretty simple, you know, character gimmick. It's basically an Imp superhero that can like, you know, multiply into many different different imps that all look exactly the same, but he has this sort of goggles and this helmet and a little light at the top. Honestly, he sort of looks, I don't know, like some kind of like movie character or something. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go ahead and equip him. We'll just play him with the normal imp for the most part. I mean, I mean, some people were saying I should play him with the z imp or the, Z not the z the Z7 imp because he looks really cool with this hat. So maybe we'll give that a shot as well and we'll just sort of take a look at all of them in some turf takeover. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's get started. We gotta defend the park. So why I'm not worried about what imp we play today is because I have them all mastered, so of course I don't really have to worry about the experience situation. So I'm just gonna play whatever I feel in the mood to, so maybe we'll start with a little bit of imp, and then some people are saying they would like to see the Z7 imp just because he looks cool with it, so I wanna go ahead and do that. So we'll go ahead and give that a shot. But yeah, the Infinity is a cool character that he's sort of one of the first characters you go against in Heroes if you play through the story mode. I think he's actually the very first enemy and the first plant story mode chapter. I'm gonna get beat up here, aren't I? Oh boy. And I remember not liking going against him too much. Not only that, but of course, when I finally get the chance to ha try him, I didn't feel like he was my style too much. You know, like I enjoyed playing with him, but I didn't think I would excel with playing with him. But I've tried a few different decks with him. It's been a good while since I've played him, you know, right now in the present tense, but the, I know at this point I have found ways to play him and enjoy him, and that's been pretty fun. It's funny because imps are some of the most dominating characters in Heroes, because we have, of course, Infinity, we have z -Mac, and isn't there another imp character, or am I getting it? Well, there's uh, the Smash, and he has an imp on his back, and of course there are a ton of different imp characters. Of course, an imp card is a, like a card type as well. There's just tons of imps to you know be seen in Heroes, which is pretty insane. We are not doing so well so far though. I did get a good, you know, starting vanquish out. But yeah, that's sort of just, you know, interesting for imps. <laughs> but who knows, maybe there'll be more added soon. But uh, one thing is that once again, you know, I've talked about this before with the previous episode, you know, like with Nightcap, um, you know, seeing some heroes characters in the game. We talked about plants heroes being added to Garden Warfare 2, but what about zombie heroes being added to Garden Warfare 2? I mean, which ones would be good? Which ones really wouldn't be all that great? I would like to, you know, I've said this one for sure. Neptuna or Immortici being added to Garden Warfare 2 would be really cool as their own class. I think would just work out just fine. Um, Immortici is pretty interesting because she could maybe be sort of like a bit more of a Rose equivalent. I don't know though. Maybe that wouldn't make too much sense because obviously the Engineer and Rose are pretty similar. But like Immortician, like what could she do? I mean, maybe she could also be more of a stealthy character. Maybe she could like turn to a bat and fly around instead of having a drone. You are the drone. That'd be pretty cool, right? I don't know if Immortisha can turn into a bat though in the actual Heroes game. Like her lore isn't super fleshed out now, is it? And then of course there's Neptuna. I don't know what kind of character Neptuna would be though. Oh boy, I'm getting immediately beat up as plant by plants as soon as I revive. Thank you to whoever respawned me, but I don't think I can protect you for very long because I can't protect myself. Oh no! Come on, come on, come on. Break dance, break dance, break dance. Okay, there's another vanquish. It's actually working out not too bad. I got a few vanquishes out of it. So thank you, Mr. Scientist. This Colonel Corn is pretty blind to the situation. Infinity would be a weird consideration for an imp variant especially since he doesn't have like a dedicated mech, but obviously the idea with the infinity is that he multiplies, so that would be really weird. I mean, it's possible though, you know, like, it would be cool if, you know, instead of playing as one imp, you sort of play as like three or four all at the same time running around, and maybe they all do like a certain amount of damage. So like, you'd sort of control them all as a group, and you know, like when you input the controls, instead of it controlling one character, it controls like all of them at once. So it'd be sort of weird to do. Like I know there is that Mario game, I think it's called Super Mario 3D World, where you can pick up like an item that basically does the same thing. Like your character splits up into several different characters, but they're all controlled by your one control. So it's just sort of of like a group of characters you're controlling. It'd be cool to see an imp like that. And maybe each imp would do less damage. 
than normal, but you're, of course you have like so much damage coming in that if you land all the shots, it does a lot of damage accumulatively. It would be one of those characters that would be very, very hard to play, but if you could find a way to master that, that'd be pretty cool. And of course, like if one person vanquishes just one of your amps, that'll help you know, you know, take you down a little bit, but it won't take you down all the way. And it'd be interesting if you can be eliminated down to just one imp and then play it like a normal imp, just with like one fourth the damage. It would be really weird, but it would be totally workable. Okay, I, I had no idea if he was alive or not. That was really weird. But yeah, I mean, beyond that, we have talked a million times over about the Smash being sort of like a cool imp variant. Because of course the imp on the Smash's back could you know be himself an imp variant, and then instead of having a mech, he could um I need to use this darn mech. Speaking of which, <laughs> but instead of having a mech, the Smash would be the mech equivalent. You know, seeing how he's a gargantuan, you could just call him in, and then he just destroys. That would be super duper cool. But yeah, since I have all the imps mastered, I've already talked about my top five imp characters. And if you guys haven't seen that video, I, did, I suggest you check it out. I posted it about two weeks ago. It's actually, it did really well. It did better than the top five Colonel Corn video. And I was really happy with how that one turned out. So, so far so good for those kind of videos. And a lot of you did say you wanted to see a top five mech at some point. I'm not gonna do that now. What I'm gonna do right now is call in a mech to hopefully save me from the pain that I might be delivered by this chopper and any other plant that might be around like you. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Ooh, that was good. Wait, I got the, I thought I got the kernel corn there, but I actually got the citron. Ooh, got you. We're destroying everybody right now. Oh my gosh. Come on, get you, get you, get you, got you. Oh my gosh, this is working out. It's working out. Oh, but not enough. <laughs> Maybe I should have hopped out of the mech there, but I was just having too much fun. That was amazing. <laughs> But yeah, it was a really cool video. In my opinion, I liked it a lot. So I'll definitely be working on the top five mechs. I'm probably gonna give it a little bit because I wanna go ahead and tackle some other characters. I don't wanna be doing top five imps and then immediately right in the top five mechs just because I feel like that's sort of a, I don't know, a little frustrating. Like, you know, for the for a viewing perspective because you know that I'm just talking about imps all the time. So I figure I'll, I'll do a, t a few more top fives. Like top five sunflowers is definitely the next one I'm gonna be working on. Then a top five zombie character again. And then maybe after that, like a top five max. I feel like that would be pretty cool. But either way, I'll work on it eventually. And while we're on the topic of upcoming videos, there were an another few things. One thing, if this is going up at the right time, it should be going up on a Wednesday and the last day of May, which May has been a fantastic month for God of Warfare 2. I mean, if you think about it, we've had so many awesome things going on. Of course, it was at the beginning of the month, PVZ birthdays, and this month has felt so long. It felt like that was like last month, but no, the beginning of this month was PVZ birthdays. We got two legendary hats, we got three awesome new abilities, and of course, we got um, what's it called? Um, the the sale, the actual PVZ birthdays event included a huge sale on packs that was pretty darn cool, and then of course we got the uh, return of the Yeti King this month. So like a lot of cool stuff was going on this month when it comes to uh, the events and everything. I had a lot of fun, hopefully you did too. But tomorrow, the day after this video releases will be Thursday, June 1st. So expect a routine of checking out the new events calendar, talking about what we might expect. I'm super excited. And to throw out some predictions now, I really don't know what to say. Like, to be honest with you, it's just like, obviously we've had a major holiday event every single month, maybe not every single month of 2017, because I don't think we had one in January, but we've had one in February, March, April, and May. That's four months in a row that we've had major holiday events, so to think another month in a row we'll have another major holiday event, I don't think it'll happen, unless they really just sort of like make up a holiday, which would be pretty cool. Um, but I just don't expect anything like that, because there isn't any major national you know, or worldly holiday that I can imagine would be celebrated. Oh boy, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, just start break dancing on I know he was low. So if I could just hide out a little bit and then pull up my mech, that should be good. Come on, come on, come on. I know they're attacking me. Oh! Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'll just go here and start beating up whoever I can. So you're running away, dude. I'm gonna catch you. I know there are people behind me attacking me. So I'm just trying to get into a spot that will work. Come on, stop. Oh, there we go, before he could shuck shot me. That was good. Ooh. I'm just gonna rock it, rock it, rock it, rock it. I'm so dead. <laughs> Gosh darn, I couldn't make it work. It was the same guy that got me last time, too. Come on, dude. Give me some breaks here. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead and switch over to the Z7 up now and see how he looks with that. Um, He should be down here. Appearance. And boom. Oh, that does look pretty cool. 
I like the color scheme. It's sort of like a more of a shiny, like glossy finish black compared to the, you know, the, I guess more matte black of his suit, but it still looks very darn cool. I think it'll probably be the best looking one combined with his hat. I mean, we'll find out at the end of the video, like always, but uh, I think this one's gonna look the best, so I'm excited to see it. But let's see who we can take out now playing the Z7M. I'm gonna have to, you know, take a second to get used to it because I'm used to playing the other imp where you have to guide your shots a whole darn lot, and here you just don't have to do that. All right, we got you, there we go. So far, so good though, I gotta say so much. Ooh. Oh, you're hiding behind the corner. I wish you weren't though, so I could attack you. Where are you? Are you being forced to break dance? I think it was. Oh man, that, that's a very green cactus. I like that, it was very cool looking. But it will be interesting whatever we you know have to see in June. It would be cool to see um, just some kind of like maybe summer related holiday event because you know if it's not any national holiday, at the least it will be the summer official officially for most people. Most people have already told me they're already on summer break, but some of you are still you know, trying to get on summer break or you're still finishing up school in some capacity, so it would be cool to see something you know related to that. They're gonna immediately destroy me. Oh boy, oh boy, back it up. How about, yeah, that was pretty good, that was pretty good. Too bad there's nobody around to uh, heed the explosion, but that's the end of this round. I wanna do another one though, so we will be right back. So let's give one last go at everything and see how everything turns out. But yeah, I mean, just because there might not be too much going on in the month of June, we'll find out tomorrow officially if there is gonna be something going on or not. Um, you know, there might not be too many events going on, but it will be a big month no matter what because it, I think it will be the big decider on if there is going to be a new PVZ game on the horizon because, of course, June is E3 and that's the time when games like this are announced. Um, that's when, of course, Gun Warfare 1 and 2 were both announced, so it's just like a matter of, you know, this is the time of year that games are usually announced and if there is a new PVZ game to be expecting, we probably will expect to get the announcement this month, so keep your ears open. Of course, I will try to, if, if there actually is anything confirmed, I will make videos on it and I will you know talk about it to make sure that everybody can know about it and be excited about it if it looks cool. So hopefully that is what works out, but no matter what, it's gonna be you know an exciting month just because of that, even if there isn't too much going on in Garden Warfare. And, and you know, there's the whole, you know, will there be any more new boss hunts? I think that if there is not a brand new boss hunt or at least, you know, Hypno Flower and um, Captain Smasher or Captain Smasher, one of the two. If, if it's not those two characters or a brand new boss hunt altogether in June, then I just think that I'm gonna give up hope for there actually ever being a brand new boss hunt, except for the four that we've already gotten. Um, just because, you know, they've already now, they've now cycled through every possible boss hunt that they've shown twice. They've They've cycled through all four boss hunts twice. We've had eight boss hunts in total now, you know, two of each, so if they're not gonna do it, you know, this month, June, they're not ever gonna do it, at least as, as far as I'm concerned. Because if they really are working on a new game, they're slowly but surely going to pull the resources out of God of Warfare 2 and into whatever their new game is to work on the new game, because you know, that's how game development works. You know, it takes time, energy, and a lot of, you know, hardworking people, so. We will have to see, but I think that it's sort of a now or never when it comes to the boss hunts. I'm sure I'll talk about it again in a little bit more detail once we get to tomorrow's video when I talk about the event calendar and see what we got going on. Because maybe it'll be another stellar month and it'll blow everything else out of the park, which would be pretty crazy. Because like I said, we've already got a lot of awesome stuff between the legendary hats, the new abilities, and of course the hats we've been playing in the most recent episodes, the PVC Heroes hats. There's been lots of awesome stuff, but hopefully they can keep it going. Because, you know, who knows? Oh, we got, got by a zebra pee, but. You know, that's okay. You know, <laughs> this guy is so excited about it. But oh boy, how are we doing so far? We have six vanquishes. Oh, you know what, I joined this game late, didn't I? After that, that dude's doing insanely well. I mean, think about it. We're on the first one, that person has 22 vanquishes? <laughs> what are they doing? I don't know, but, but I respect it, it's very cool. Let's try to make our way around the center here, because I do see some plants. This chopper, a torchwood's coming up. Oh, there's two torchwoods. Either that, or that torchwood is scary fast. No, there's definitely more than, I see three Torchwoods now. Oh my, this is not good. We got Torchwoods everywhere. Try to get you a little bit if I can. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, this guy didn't see me, but I see him. I really love the Z7M. He is so much fun to play, and it's just so easy to rack up Vanquishers with him. That's why we got Top Vanquisher last round. And we also got First Strike, but that was actually with the normal imp, which, you know, isn't a bad class on its own too, so pretty darn cool. I'm dying a lot though. I, I didn't say I was playing well. I just happen to get top vanquisher, so. But yeah, I mean, I really can't think of too much more when it comes to the ideas of zombie heroes on, on 
the um, Guard of Warfare 2 side of things. Maybe at most, maybe, uh, what's his name? Professor Brainstorm as a scientist variant would be pretty cool because he's already pretty scientist-like. And of course we see characters like the scientist and the chemist as cards in Heroes. So it wouldn't be that much of a stretch. Oh boy, come on now. Can we get you a little bit? I can there, there's one more Vanquish for us. I don't think the plants are gonna win this, but that's A-OK -okay with me. I think it would be totally fine if we finish off here, and that happens. Sorry guys, you could have back with me, but better luck next time. But there we go, there were some cool rounds. Time to head back and take a look at this hat one last time. So here's one last look at every single imp character with the Infinity hat. Very darn cool, I think it looks pretty cool on most characters. I like it a lot on Little Drake because the golden of the goggles sort of mixes with the goldenness of his other parts of the costume. Looks okay on the pylon imp, doesn't really fit well with the shrimp imp. It's okay with the Z7 imp. I like it overall, it's pretty darn cool. I think the little Drake really seals it for me right now. Not too bad on the party imp, but matches with like sort of like the black of his shirt. And then we got Scallywag imp, and it's not too bad there, but I think, of course, little Drake takes the cake because of the goldenness he already has sort of shining off of him. Mixes pretty darn well. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plans for Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this point of video, make sure you comment Infinity Zebra, so I know you've watched it in the video, and you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.